Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and I'm going to make a lot of different videos today specifically targeted towards stocks, but this one is going to cover the market in general and a couple indicators that I'm looking at and the health of the market. So we've seen two substantial red days this week in the market and I want to ask the question, is this the beginning of the market crash? So like everybody else, I can't answer that question, but what I can show you guys are the charts and exactly what they're saying. First thing we're gonna be looking at is the SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF trust. And so what was huge today was that we closed below this 50 day moving average. And why is that significant? Every single time that we have broken this 50 day SMA, you can see that we back test this 100 day SMA represented by this blue line. It's happened all the time. It is just another line of support that is tested for the market's health. And today we closed below this line. And how badly did we close? If I zoom this into the 30 minute time frame, you can see we closed right under. And so that was a little teaser of what's to come, in my opinion, for the short term. And so why I say the short term is since we have closed underneath this 50 day SMA, I do see us testing this 100 day SMA at around 355. And so for strictly looking at the moving averages on the SPY, it should not shock you that we are seeing a correction. We have seen substantial run ups. And so what is next? There should not be full panic mode yet because the market crash could be happening, but we can't say for sure. This could just be a minor pullback and we could recover next week. And so what we're looking for next on the SPY is to see if we can hold and bounce off this 100 day SMA. And if we break down from that point, it's going to get a little scarier and then we will most likely test this 200 day SMA, which is also approaching this longer term trend line that I have on the SPY, which I can show you guys here on the weekly time frame. This trend line dates back from the beginning of the bull run in 2008. And so this is a very significant trend line and this could be the beginning of the end, but we can't say for sure. And so if you are an investor, if you are a trader, the biggest thing to look at right now is this 200 day SMA. I think that is the last line. And because this 200 day SMA is closing in on this long term 12 year trend line, it does seem a little bit perfect in my opinion. So I don't know what's going to happen, but it does seem a little sticky. So if we are trading and in holding long positions, be very careful in the markets right now. And so that is the first indicator that we might be starting to go down a little deeper than people might want. The second chart that we're looking at is gold on the daily time frame, and gold usually gives a good indication of the health of the markets. And right now you can see we could potentially be breaking out for gold. You can see we back tested, but we got rejected here off this top line of resistance, but we are building momentum to the upside. And if we can break this line of resistance here, things could get a little bit interesting and we could start to see a breakout. So we have the SPY sitting right below our 50 day SMA. We have gold on the verge of a breakout. And the last thing that I want to look at is a volatility index. So we're looking at the VIX right now on the daily time frame, and I have created this wedge pattern on the VIX. And so this is the one thing that gives me confidence that this might be a short term correction rather than a long term correction, because what we are seeing here is a wedge pattern that is forming with the VIX. And this wedge pattern goes until 2022, 2023. And so I'm not saying that this market's going to keep running for two more years, but that's just the pattern that we are trading in right now. And that is giving me an indication that this is more likely a shorter term pullback rather than a longer term pullback. And so if we are focusing on this chart, we don't want the VIX to break above this trend line here at around 37. If the VIX starts going above this point, we could start seeing some crazy moves. And so if we look at this in hindsight, we are sitting at a moment where you have retail investors versus big hedge funds. We have crazy explosions in stocks. We have market manipulation. We have all time highs. We have a terrible economy. We have a global pandemic. There's so much stuff happening in the world right now that a year from now, we could be looking at the top 
of this extraordinary bull market that we have seen for the last decade and so i'm not saying that is happening but i'm not saying that's not happening and so these are just all the things that i'm taking into consideration i'm looking at and we are starting to dip a little bit and i do see us having a correction whether or not it's going to be a short term or long term is going to depend on how those 50 and 100 and 200 day smas hold all in all that is my take on the health of the overall markets if you guys like this video don't forget to like we are on that long road to 10k subs so if you made it to this point feel free to hit that subscription button this is dummy boy finance i'm dummy boy and i'll see you guys in the next one